For the first time in Oregon's history, faculty at a public university went on strike. It happened at OIT, the Oregon Institute of Technology. The strike lasted more than a week, and this came after contract negotiations lasted, wait for it, more than 500 days. It's a lot of days. But early this morning, the standoff came to an end. They've got a deal. There's a lot of relief at Oregon Tech today. Still, though, we heard from several students and staff members, people who are a little worried about where the school goes from here. Here's Maggie Vespa. Here we go, everybody. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. After eight days on strike and more than 500 days of negotiations, the union representing faculty at the Oregon Institute of Technology struck a tentative deal with the university. Thrilled that we've got a tentative agreement. KGW received word around 1 a.m. Tuesday from OIT's Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Ken Fincher. How relieved is everyone? Oh, tremendously. The contract lasts through June 2025 and still needs to be ratified by the union, the OIT chapter of the American Association of University Professors. Assuming they approve it, Oregon Tech says faculty will be guaranteed an 11.5% salary increase spread out over the course of the contract, plus opportunities for extra merit-based raises. They'll also have clearly defined workload requirements. That was a key issue for the union, who said instructors are expected to teach and shoulder extra responsibilities, like building new curricula. How much extra work was never specified, says Union Secretary Kari Lundgren. Sometimes there's just like a, well, I'm not entirely sure how much I should do, so I'll just keep saying yes to everything. And then you get, of course, terrible burnout. Tuesday, she said that is what this new contract aims to fix. I would call it not just a win for the union, I'd call it a win-win. I mean, ultimately, the university will benefit from That said, no one can pretend this didn't happen. What's taken 500 days? This is a tricky question to answer. OIT's strike was historic for several reasons. On top of the roughly year and a half of negotiations, this contract is the first ever drawn up between Oregon Tech and its faculty union, which just organized in 2018. In short, both sides had a lot of ground to cover. Who's university? This was also the first faculty strike ever at a public university in Oregon. Others have reportedly come close, but no school, no employer, wants images like this going public. Same goes for images like this. This is our class currently with no adjunct faculty. In the last week, OIT students have become increasingly vocal on social media. Most support the faculty and are angry that classes continued through the strike with outside instructors brought in, many of whom taught remotely. Now all of a sudden I'm learning that our professors aren't being paid good and they're really angry. Freshman Michael Crayhall said even with a deal reached, some classmates have soured on Oregon Tech. I've seen some students that have already said, you know, oh, I'm not going to come here next year. I am transferring. And for incoming freshmen who look up the school online, there's a record of this rift. Someone took to Google Maps and marked an intersection on OIT's Klamath Falls campus, Solidarity Corner. Click on it and you'll find photos of the picket line. That in mind, we had a question for both sides. Is this a black eye for the university? First up, Oregon Tech. Uh, Oregon Tech is resilient. It's, uh, we were resilient through the pandemic and we maintained our uh, admissions, our level of enrollment. We know that our graduates, when they walk off the stage, their average salary income is around $65,000. And we're not gonna let anything stop us. Here's the union's answer. I think it is a black eye for the university. Now black eyes can heal. Faculty feel extremely insulted, hurt, burnt out. I hope the university and the senior administration really reaches out and, uh, and sort of tries to move forward. Oregon Tech faculty are expected to be back in class Wednesday. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.